Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cute mini pirate hat that Elizabeth Swan would love to wear. For this project, you will need the following. You will need a fourth of a yard of polar fleece or felt, items to decorate your hat, feathers, ribbon, tulle, brooches, etc., barrette clips or combs, cording, hot glue gun, spray-on adhesive, and the free PDF pattern printed on cardstock. All right, once you have all those items, it's time to get started. You can find free instructions on how to assemble your pattern on fleecefun.com or fleecefun.com's channel. You'll need to print up the pattern onto cardstock as the pattern will become part of the hat. Cut out and assemble the pattern. Be sure to tape the front and back of this pattern seams um, where you have overlaps on your pattern and paper. Trace the pattern onto the cloth using a marking pen or even a regular pen as long as it doesn't bleed through the fabric. Be sure to trace the brim twice, once on the solid line. Then cut down the dot to the dotted line and trace again. Be sure to also trace the hole in the center. Then cut down all the pattern pieces on the cardstock to the dotted line. You now have four pieces of fabric cut out. Set the smaller brim piece aside. Spray the back of the cardstock with the glue and center on each piece. There should be an allowance all the way around, except on the hole in the center of the brim. This should just line up with the fabric. Using the glue gun, fold over the excess fabric and glue down all the edges all the way around the, pe the pieces. Leave the ends of the wall unglued. The wall seam will appear less bulky if you don't glue the ends together. Taking the wall piece, gently fold it around so the two ends overlap. Glue the ends together. Be sure to hold it for a while to secure it or secure it with clothespins or clips to hold it into place. Please note, you should check to make sure that the wall and the top of the hat will fit together properly before gluing the ends of the wall together, so be sure to measure and gauge it. Depending on the thickness of the fabric you are using, you might have to adjust the overlap for a perfect fit. Alright, once you've built the wall, it's time to add the top. Once the wall is secure, it's time to add the top of the hat. Using your glue gun, glue all the way around the top part of the wall, just barely on the inside. Place the top on and hold it into place securely for a few seconds. Glue cording all the way around the edge of the brim, all the way around the hat. This will give the edge a nice finished look. Then glue on the smaller brim piece onto the cardstock, taking care that the glued ed to glue the edges of the brim piece very well. All right, now that the top and the wall are built, it's time to add the brim. Place the glue on the bottom of the wall of the hat, lining up the bottom circles, and press firmly into the brim. You may need to hold it for several seconds to ensure it is well glued. You should be gluing the wall to the smaller brim piece that you just glued down. Here's a tip. Place the seam where you will be folding up the hat. In my example, I place the seam in the back. The brim is an oval shape. The sides should be the thinnest part of the oval and the brim should be the wider front and back sections of the hat. All right, now it's, it's really not looking like much right now, so now it's time to give it some shape. I strongly recommend that you play with the hat for a bit before you glue it into place. You'll notice the brim is oval, taking the longer sides designed to be the front and back of the hat. Start with the back side, Glue the brim of the hat up to the wall. You will need to at least hold it for one minute and repeat a couple more times to make your hat. Add a couple of clips or a comb to make sure 
it will stay into place. You can glue them directly or you can also use a scrap of fleece to glue them to the hat. You can also use a length of elastic thread to make it stay on the head like a party hat. And you now have a blank canvas to work with. All right, now is the fun part where you get to add all kinds of decorations and different things you want to do. Really, your imagination is the limit here. Um, what I like to do with this one is I added some cording and some beads to kind of emphasize the line of the hat. And I also added, of course, ribbon on one side and, and some other feathers and things on the other. Really, just play around with it. It's interesting to see what different personalities can come out of a hat once you get going. And you're finished. You have a great costume piece that is fun and versatile and unique. I doubt anyone else at that party you're going to is going to have as cool a hat as you. If you like this project, I have several others on my website, fleecefun.com, that you'll also enjoy. All my sewing patterns and tutorials are free. You might also like the mini top hat. It's cute, it's steampunk, it's fun. Have a great day, and remember, velvet is pretentious, fleece is fun.